we often assume that the past is somehow some very serious place but in reality no the past had all these elements we still have in our society it had chaos it had laughter it had conflict it had war it had uh, joy it- hi my name is manu s pele and you're watching me on tweak india we often think of history and kings and kingdoms and rulers and the image if you shut your eyes the image that comes in front of your eyes is of these people sitting on their simhasans looking very serious but no they also had a sense of humor they also had personality and they they were able to let their hair down every now and then we often think the kama sutra is just about you know bedroom gymnastics but that's just one segment of the text there's a whole lot of it that's about grooming about how courtesans should woo their uh, their customers but also get rid of them if the customer doesn't have money who would have thought that you know so many centuries ago when the kama sutra was written a well groomed man was a man who had to go and get his body hair shaved off every 10 days we often assume that the past was somehow some very serious place that's possibly because that's how we're taught but in reality no the past had all these elements we still have in our society it had chaos it had laughter it had conflict it had war it had uh, joy it had all kinds of things happening simultaneously we assume that human beings will rationally learn from history but the thing is we don't human beings have the capacity to believe things that have no basis in anything there's no point lecturing people constantly saying you're wrong you're wrong you illustrate through historical examples why they are wrong people often have this feeling that you know sexual abuse didn't happen in the past it's some kind of western thing no you really look at the kotwal records of the peshwas in pune they were brahmin rulers of pune till 1818 and you see that sexual misdemeanors are, are sort of recorded all over the place marital rape which is not legally recognized in india india still pretends marital rape does not exist it was recognized in the peshwas period because they have cases where marital rape has been punished so the our 18th century ancestors were capable of recording marital rape but somehow our 21st century politicians think it's not part of indian culture so you know when when somebody says oh this me too is a completely new phenomenon these things didn't happen in our country in our past no i will tell them the story of kurier at the tatri from late 19th century early 20th century kerala who was a brahmin woman who was found committing adultery and when she said at her trial that even the men should be tried she she had a list of 65 names and you know she said all of these men need to be punished with me that was in a way uh, a sort of me too thing that happened then you tell stories from the past and you tell it in a way that people can understand it at some level enjoy it and form an interest in history people themselves will go uh, searching you take on board art architecture material evidence because that tells you a lot as well so if something is written in sanskrit or persian why is it written in that language who is the intended audience who was the author what was the background of the author everything that's written in text isn't true i mean we're talking in the age of fake news tomorrow if somebody takes our <clears throat> all our tweets and decides that everything written here is accurate and perfectly true that's you know you and i know that that's not true so but it, these are skills that can be learned if you enjoy history then frankly it's a lot of fun in today's india no matter how much you try to protect yourself and self censor the frank truth is if not now maybe 10 years later some idiot somewhere will pick up something that you wrote and decide that he's offended or she's offended by this and it could always get you in trouble so considering that one doesn't really hold back in my case as i said i don't tweet too much i don't give too many lectures uh, to random people but through my writing i try to be honest and i try not to cover up or not to hide or not to tone things down if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to tweak india